Now, if you've been following the teachings on law of attraction, on conscious creation, and on manifestation, you understand the importance of letting go. Now, letting go does not mean giving up, but it is very important for us to understand how to let go of our desires and our attachments to the outcomes of our action in order to truly manifest the life that we actually want to live. So in this video, we will talk about three secrets of letting go in order to attract the life that we actually want to live. So in the three sections of this video, we will first understand the teachings of reality transurfing by Vadim Zeeland. After that, we will look at the teachings of Karma Yoga from Bhagavad Gita. And then we will look at the teachings of Upanishads and Vedanta to understand how by learning to let go and detach ourselves from our desires and from the outcomes of our action, we can easily attract the life that we actually want to live. The Advaita channel is about conscious living and conscious creation. Here we explore Vedanta and various ancient spiritual teachings from India to understand the nature of reality and to consciously create our lives. In section 1, we will discuss the teachings of reality transurfing. Reality transurfing is a teaching that I came across on manifestation and reality creation about two years ago, I think. And this is the work of a Russian physicist named Vadim Zeeland. And this text and this teaching goes very deep in explaining to us what this reality is about and how we can begin to consciously create the results that we actually want to create in this world. And this book talks about how there are infinite possibilities and infinite parallel realities. So the creation is already complete and all possible outcomes actually exist right now in the present tense. The present by itself is infinite and all pervading. And we by making a conscious choice and by giving our attention to a reality that we actually want to experience can shift to that reality. This is the way in which manifestation is described in reality transurfing. Now, this teaching also talks a lot about reducing the importance of our desires and detaching ourselves from the outcomes of the action that we perform. And it is explained elaborately why this is necessary. Now, think about this carefully. Law of attraction and reality creation is about our state of being. However, we keep our minds and however we think and feel, most of the time, such a kind of energy we radiate into the world. And the world is nothing but a reflection of our internal states. And the world simply shows back to us the belief systems that we hold about ourselves. And when we associate a lot of importance to our desires and our goals, what we do is unconsciously, we are affirming that we do not possess them right now. This creates friction and this creates a gap between our ideal life and our present life. And because of this, the importance that we give towards our desires actually push our desires away from us and it pushes the ideal life away from us. So through this understanding, we must simply give up the importance by letting go. And one way to let go is to have a backup plan. So whatever desire that you have, whatever goal that you have, have a backup plan ready so that the importance to that goal reduces. And also understand that this reality is a projection, it's a simulation and it's an illusion as per the teachings of Vedanta. So whatever desires you have, whatever outcomes that we want in this life, even if we get it, it will not fulfill us ultimately. So we need to recognize the nature of reality and we need to be okay with the way we are right now. And we need to surrender our desires and attachments. And now I will read out some of the concepts from the book Reality Transurfing. Point one, the emission of mental energy induces the materialization of a variation of reality. 
This means that our thoughts unconsciously transfer us to the lines and sectors of the space of variations that correspond to our thoughts. This is basically telling us that whatever we focus on that expands and we will attain to that. And transurfing emphasizes the significance of decreasing the importance of desired outcomes and letting go of the need to control. By understanding the idea of alternative space and choosing to transurf to a lifeline where the desired outcome is an objective fact, individuals can increase the probability of their wishes manifesting. In section 2, we will look at the teachings of Bhagavad Gita and Karma Yoga in understanding the importance of letting go of our desires and attachments. Karmanye vadhika raste ma faleshu kadachana ma karma falahe turbhur ma te sangotva karmani Here Krishna is saying that you have the right to work only but never to its fruits. Let not the fruits of action be your motive nor let your attachment be to inaction. Krishna here is emphasizing the importance of letting go. He is talking to us and saying that do your duty and do the work at hand in the best way possible but don't worry about the outcomes of your action. Don't be attached to the outcomes of your action and leave that to me, he says. So Karma Yoga is first of all about letting go and being detached. Second, it is about surrender. Third, it is about staying away from inaction and working on our goals in the present moment in the best way possible by giving it all that we have. So this is Karma Yoga. So through Karma Yoga, we need to understand the importance of accepting and redirecting. Whatever happens in life, we need to begin to accept that and we need to redirect our focus towards our goals in order to achieve them. In the third section, we will look at the teachings of Vedanta. Now, if you have been following our channel, you understand this. This universe is not what it seems to us. This is not an absolute reality all by itself. There is something beyond this universe which is the absolute reality and this universe the way it is is simply a simulation. This is the teaching of Vedanta. And Vedanta explains to us that this universe, the way it is right now, is because of Maya. It's a projection. And it is actually, in the ultimate sense, an illusion. So, through this understanding, we need to realize that we are not this body and mind who are stuck in this world and we are not limited to this world. We are that infinite consciousness and that infinite potential in our deepest essence. So this is what we need to understand. When we actually begin to understand this, our attachment to our desires and the outcomes of our action will naturally fade away because we will realize this world is actually simply a temporary simulation and we are truly beyond this world. So no matter what we achieve in this life, it is not going to change who we are. The source of fulfillment is actually within us. The source of creation is within us. And when we tap into it, whatever we want, we can manifest in our lives. And even if we don't manifest that in our lives, we can actually experience absolute fulfillment just by closing our eyes and feeling who we truly are. And I know that Telling this is easy, but letting go of our desires and letting go of the attachments to our action is very difficult. And I have personally struggled with this throughout my life and I still struggle with this. But the more and more I learn about these concepts and the more and more I repeat it to myself and the more I study the Upanishads and Gita, the mind slowly begins to digest this and it starts to understand the point of life. So, we need to understand the secrets of letting go and we need to understand the significance of letting go. The first secret to letting go is to simply surrender. Is to simply surrender our desires and the attachments of the outcomes of our action to that higher intelligence, to God or to your higher self or to pure consciousness so whatever you want to call it, there is 
an intelligence which is infinite and which is transcendent we need to surrender everything to that in order to be free of the burden second we need to express gratitude we need to be extremely grateful for the things that we already have and we need to focus on what we have instead of focusing on the things that we do not yet have and if we focus more on the things that we have and if we are grateful to it more things will come to us about which we can be grateful for and the third secret and the most important point of this video is to understand the essence of vedanta we need to basically understand the nature of reality and know that the source of fulfillment is within us no matter what we do in life and no matter what we search for outside of us we will ultimately will not be fulfilled as per the teachings of the upanishads because as per the teachings of the upanishads the entire universe is a projection in our consciousness so we are not in this universe but the entire universe is within us since this is the reality we must simply realize the fact that the source of everything is within us and the source of fulfillment is within us and if we can simply tap into that source everything will be okay and letting go would become really easy so first we must intellectually understand this and practice this in our lives and to explain all this just look at this simple video here you need to understand that like attracts like basically your external world today and your life today is a reflection of your personality it is because of the way you are your life is the way it is if you want to change your life now and if you want to attract different things and create different situations in your life you must change your internal states and you must transform your personality now if you look at this example here this magnet is pushing that other object or other magnet away from it the more it moves towards the other piece the other magnet moves back this is what is happening to most of us it is because we are not letting go and it is because we are aware of the absence of our desires within our life a kind of gap is created from where we are to who we want to become so our attachment to our desires and our attachments to the outcomes of our actions is pushing the desired outcome away from us like this now if only we remove this gap and if only we simply surrender and let go just like this your desired outcome or your desired life will come to you easily if it is good for you in the long run and also note here that even if the desires do not manifest there might be a reason for that it might be that you are not ready for it or it is not good for you in the long run so trust that source and find fulfillment in that source which is within you and also when we are attached to the outcomes we are thinking of a specific way in which the outcome may happen but by releasing attachment we can welcome infinite possibilities and we can let that infinite intelligence do the work here we must simply relax and embrace the present moment we need to understand that there is no future there is no past those are just concepts present moment is eternal and it is all there is and we must simply give in to this present moment and by doing all this we can easily create the life that we actually want to live and also impact this world in a positive way so through all this understanding we need to simply let go of things and we should start enjoying the journey itself this is the secret to success